Welcome back guys. Hey, we're here at the CAF Commemorative Air Force here at Camarillo Airport in Camarillo, California. Hello Jedi Chef, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Is the audio okay on this? Let me do a quick audio check from you guys. Hello Gary, hello Triple A T T, Triple A Triple T, Triple E, hello Agent. Hello Tep, how's everybody doing? Hopefully this is going okay. What we're doing here? Hi, hi, hello, hello. Sounds static. Not again. Okay, hopefully that's better. All, all I can really do is uh, wiggle some connectors and hope that everything's okay. Hello, agent. Yes, they're uh, actually pulling this B-25 back into the hangar. They uh, pulled it out and uh, the mic is good. Thank you, Chap. Yeah, they pulled it outside so they could, uh, they pulled it outside so they could wind up the right engine and build up some hydraulic pressure. Hello, Chris. How are you? And now they're going to park it right back in here. But they're, uh, as you might imagine, if you're not, yes, it's a World War II bomber airplane. Yes, indeed it is. And right here, looks look right here behind me. <laughs> this is, uh, it's really been amazing. Hello, Daniels. How's her, hello, Daniel. Hello, Winstrup. When James, how are you, James? Yeah, I'm here at the Commemorative Air, Air Force. Let me zoom in. I'm holding the, the iPad on a holder using an external mic and all that. Because hello, Yorika. We're going to be taking a little tour of that plane. That's one of the, that's one that I'll be able to get on in just a few minutes. Yes, indeed. Not to burst my bubble, but you got to fly. W Did you really? You got to fly with the Thunderbirds. Right on, Chris. That's amazing. How did you pull that one off? Are you in the military yourself? Or were you? Yeah, so here's a view that not everybody gets to have. I wanted to share this with you. Got some trainers around. Uh, basically, this is uh, the CAF, the Commemorative Air Force, is an all-volunteer organization. They're a nonprofit um, aviation museum. They have over 70 locations around the United States, and this is the one here in Camarillo. And uh, yeah, they uh, they are able to do this by people like me and you donating. I know now I'm going to sound a little bit like a uh, like a telethon. But check out their website if you are so inclined to help them out. Um, CAF SoCal. That's C-A-F-S-O-C-A-L. Fantastic group of people here. Um, I've been able to hang out here for a couple hours now and talk. Uh, they were nice enough to give me permission to be out here and uh, share this with you guys. Now I know that's one. Of it is, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, Darsk. Darsk, what's... Okay, I just got you. You're Darren. Sorry, I missed that last comment. Can you put that one back up there and I'll, un the one under the X-Wing. Isn't this awesome? There we go, backing her up. They look completely different when they're up in the air. Hello, Real Janitor. How are you? Double T, T-T-S-L-T-D. Hello again. How are you, Jan? Hello, Alley Cat. They're, uh, they're done with the testing on this B-25 here. They were just building up some, uh, they said they were building up the hydraulic pressure to do some other tests. Now they're going to roll it right back into this hangar where I'm standing. Hello, Sky LA, 55200, that's 552004. Thank you for sharing on Twitter, guys. If you've got any friends or family, followers, whatever, that you'd like to share this with that's in the aviation, I think this is, this is kind of a view we don't get to see all the time. You were security for the Seabirds and Air Show. That is awesome. Oh, man. I bet the G's were insane, were they not? When did they fly this plane? Miss Trouble, this was a World War II aircraft here. Can I get s get on the plane and fly around as a tour? Yes, you can, Lewis. I cannot right now. Was he really? Hello, Washington, D.C. You and your boyfriend are watching. Well, welcome. What part of the country are you in? Or should I say world? <laughs> I always forget there's people all over. Watch, you were in a Cessna once, wasn't it, X-Wing? I used to fly in a little Piper Cherokee 180 when I was a kid. My uh, good friend of mine that was actually a chiropractor, 
used to take me flying with them on the weekends myself. This is my second experience with the CAF. I've hung out with them in uh, Sweetwater, Texas as well. It stands for Commemorative Air Force. If you're wondering what that little dot is on the back, that is a, that's where the gunner sits. You see that glass that's being reflected on right there? There's actually, uh, I believe it's a 50 millimeter gun that protrudes out the back, so that would be the tail gunner. The most dangerous spot on the plane, other than just, uh, I would say it, other than just being on the plane being shot at, that would be it. But yeah, just, uh, I'm going to be doing a couple different scopes just just to uh, take care of the, just so we're not dealing with a scope that's like three hours long or anything. Hello, the Robster. Definitely still be doing the sunset tonight. If you guys want to watch the California sunset with me, that'll be getting started around 7 p.m. Pacific time, so it'll be 10 o'clock Eastern. Yeah, I'm standing here in the hangar right now, just kind of hanging out. Look at this right here. I almost backed into this a minute ago. Lewis it is. It's 80 degrees out here on the tarmac right now. Absolutely gorgeous day out there. You would love to see the Memphis Bell. Before were the drones, <laughs> exactly, before there were drones, poor, exact, yes, indeed. Before there were drones, we actually had to put our, our servicemen in danger and put them up in one of these things to go do the dirty work. But yeah, if, you, uh, if you're in the area, if you're in California, or even if you come out here visiting, I highly recommend coming out here. Oh, thank you so much, Tep. Yeah, thank you guys so much. I saw when I got home last night that there was we had broke the two million mark. All thanks to you. Thank you for making uh, making me a Periscope millionaire once again. Yeah, thank you so much for the hearts. Yeah, they're just back in this beautiful bird back in here. It's very interesting. Um, there's a gentleman that lives here in the Camarillo area that this bird was actually named after his, uh, how can I say this? His father was killed when he was 11 years old when one of these went down. Yes, the, yeah, need to go to the Air Force Museum. Is there an Air Force Museum near you? This is why DC is not so rich. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm out here scoping instead of working, but I'm working, am I not? This is art. Being able to come out here and share this with you guys, this is where it's at. I'd rather be sharing these experiences with you right now. Yeah, they're squeezing it in. Look how close the wing is here. That's what we're watching for, guys. Make sure that wing doesn't hit that door jam. Yeah, they renamed this beautiful bird here Semper Fi at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Daytona. Oh, in Dayton, Ohio. You know, I did learn something about that. The Dayton, Ohio Museum there has the, uh, the 707 or the former Air Force One that actually brought um, JFK back from Dallas. They actually had to, they actually had to uh, cut the bulkhead of the rear door to be able to get the casket in. I don't know if you know that or not. The other, um, there were two 707s or two Air Force Ones back then. The second one is in the Reagan National Library that's about 22 miles from here. I've scoped from there if you'd like to uh, watch a replay. on uh, You can go to Catch Me and see that. Look at this guy, he's got the best seat in the house. So, yep, they got the big bird back inside now. Such a beautiful, aer beautiful aircraft. Yeah, the wingspan on this bird is 67 feet. Do you drone the Science Center? No, I've never done that. Or the Science Center. No, I have not done. I thought I misread that. Hello, Eliobi Faith. Welcome to the CAF here in Camarillo, California. You're very welcome. 
Not much going on at 11.20 in the UK. Holy cow. You're surprised when they didn't get a space shuttle. Oh, they're in Dayton? As far as when they were divvying out the space shuttles? Now, there is one in L.A. that I'm going to go down there, too. Uh, the space shuttle. They have one of the space shuttles down there. So, yep, they got the big bird back inside here. Yeah, they have, uh, what is it, the 707 at the Reagan, Reagan National Library in uh, Simi Valley is serious enough. I can be there in 20 minutes. And uh, they have it on a, they have it on these big concrete pedestals in a pavilion that is just crazy. If you guys saw the uh, Reagan, or excuse me, the Republican National Debate a couple of two or three months ago, they were standing right, you know, they were all, all the candidates were right next to Air Force One there at that particular place. Hello, David M.A., 8211 6256. Introduce myself. Hello, it's me, DC. This guy and his camera. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here at the CAF. If you want to see more about this location, really, where where's that at, Chris? But if you guys would like to see more about this location, check out uh, CF SoCal. That's CF S O C A L dot com, and uh, just check it out. Oh, you're up in North Cal. Okay, very cool. I'll be up there soon. We're going to do some sort of Perry meetup up there in Sacramento area. So that'd be great. So from uh, Hangar 51 at the CAF, Commemorative Air Force here in uh, Camarillo, California. I'm going to go ahead and scope this one down. We'll be back shortly. I'm kind of hanging out waiting for one of the guys to be free to give me a tour of a couple of the aircraft, and we'll get to know these guys, get to know the aircraft up close and personal, all right? Very cool. Okay, thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm going to go ahead and scope the <laughs> scope this one down. Talk to you later, everyone. Bye-bye.